And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at a game in a tin from White Goblin Games called Crooks. This is a very simple card game. It, uh, it emulates a tile laying game, games where you put down tiles and try to have the highest number in a specific row or column. But it's a little bit different than that. Let's take a look. This game takes up a lot of table space, really. I mean, for a game that comes in a small tin, um, that's what, there's a lot going on. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put these locations that robberies can happen at from two to nine. Nine is the most valuable one. And then you'll put a card for each player's color here at the bottom. And there can be fewer than four players playing. Then at the top, you're going to put these different locations where you can hire criminals, uh, A, B, C, and D, all the way through I, and under each of them, you're going to put a certain amount of criminals that can be hired. For example, two will go under A, two will go under B, etc. Each player will also get a certain amount of money. There are money cards that are both in denominations of one and of three. One player starts, and you keep going till everyone passes. Once you pass, final scoring begins. You pass basically when you're out of money. Now, you're gonna spend money on your turn to hire a criminal. That's the first thing you do. So you pick whatever pile you want. So let's say you pick pile C here, which has three cards underneath it. Yes, I know these should have cards, but I'm gonna show you cards in a minute. You will then look at those three cards, and since it had three cards underneath it, you have to pay $3. You look underneath one of those, you take it, you put the other two back. If someone else goes to that spot now, they will only have to pay $2, and then the next person only has to pay a dollar. So the spots that have more cards, you have more choices, but they also are more expensive. Once you take your criminal, you're going to take that criminal and you're going to place him in your row, whatever color you are, so if I'm green, I'll place him in this row in any spot. However, once there's someone in the spot, I can't add anybody else to that spot. Now, let's take a closer look at the criminals. Each criminal has a number at the bottom of how powerful that criminal is. So they go from one to 10. So you can see this guy's pretty powerful. Here's a lady who's a six. Here's a guy who's a five, not as powerful as these two. However, this says two plus. That two plus is added to the value of this place. So instead of this one being worth four to rob, if I put them here, that would be worth six to rob. You also notice each of these people has a red, blue, or yellow at the end of the game. You will get a certain amount of points depending on how many players if you have the most of, of any of the three gangs. And some people are in multiple gangs. There's a, and there's a lady who's in all three gangs. Oy. Well, Other people have special abilities. Like when you play this person, you get two dollars. When you play this guy, you can kill somebody at the location that you're at. Pick someone else's card and they are gone. This person you can switch out with somebody. Also knows he has a minus two. When you put him at a spot, that spot's value will go down. This guy's an accomplice. He's minus one from the spot he goes to, and he's only a three, but you can put him where you have somebody else. So if I have a nine here, I can put my accomplice there with him, and now I have 12 at that spot. And then finally, you have the godfather guy here. He's a 10. He's the only 10 in the deck. And you can only take him if he's the last guy in a pile, which is very interesting because you can, uh, once people know he's in a pile, they will try to get other people to pick from that pile. It's a very interesting concept. At the end of the game, you're going to score, and you're going to look in each column. So in this column, uh, this guy's a 9. He wins, so he gets the 4 points. Uh, although it's plus 2, 6, minus 1, so it's actually worth 5 points he'll get. And you will just do that for each column. If there's a tie, they will split the points. And the person who has the most points is the winner. Don't forget the points for having the most people of a specific gang. Crooks is a good little game. I actually liked it quite a bit. One of the things I found interesting and fascinating was the getting of crooks. It's a very simple game. Buy a crook, place a crook. Buy a crook, place a crook. You should be at a place only nine, although you could place more, but you'll likely run out of money before that. So it's a really quick game on here. It says 10 to 20 minutes on here, and that's very accurate. And I like games that are very quick sometimes. It's something to do in between other games or while you're waiting. I, it would be probably nicer if it was more than four players, but it might get too bogged down. As it is with two players, it's not as interesting, but with four, it's, it's, it is a lot of fun. 
the theme is there. It's It makes sense. It works with the cards. But in it, essentially, it's a card game where you're hoping to pull from a big pile of cards by paying a lot of money. And then maybe you see another good card in that deck. Or maybe you can act like you are. So there's a bit of bluffing. And you're like, I, I just can't decide which card I want. Someone else says, ah, maybe I want to go in that one later on and grab a card. And then, sucker, it's all garbage. But none of the gangsters are really garbage. And you, it's that back and forth thing. There's interaction for sure, as you can play the guys who shoot other gangsters and kill them. So I, there's that aspect of the game. But for the most part, it's just, it's very simple. You take a card, where am I going to lay it? Sure, I want those nine points, that's the biggest one, but someone might play a card that it makes it only worth six points. So where do I place my cards? In the end, luck plays a much higher role in this game than you might think. Uh, maybe not luck, but complete and utter chaos mixed with a bit of luck because you really don't know who you're gonna find at first when you go out there. But because it's so short, it works, it's fun. It's a, certainly a game I enjoyed. And if you like card games, tile laying games in a sense, um, there's a lot of times I play those games, and I'll review a couple of those next week, actually, which seem like they can go on forever. This one's fast. Very fast. It's like a simplified kingdoms, uh, but even faster than that, and that's not a bad thing. Crooks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Yeah. Yeah.